Look here. He left his weapon behind. Gore how? This means he's completely unhinged. News to no one, Regent Lord. King Rin's fleet is converging on Orgrimmar as we speak. Likewise, Sylvanas and I have both sent ships to support Vol'jin's revolution. I'm warning you, Lorthamar. The Alliance is besieging the city, and we will destroy Hellscream. Your people had best stay out of our way. It is always a pleasure to see you, Lady Proudmoore. Come, heroes! Through the portal! The siege of Orgrimmar begins! Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to part two of our Siege of Orgrimmar series. With our Out of Bounds, we're going to be exploring the surrounding area. We are officially in the part two section where we are in the Barrens and we're about to take the gates of Ogamar. Now I have already escaped outside of the map. And as always, if you want to see how do I escaped, please join the membership. It's only $2.99 a month. And uh, there you can see how I got out. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Uh, so we're already outside of the map. Uh, let's go explore out this way and let's go take a look and see what we can find. Now, I have been out here one time already. Didn't explore too much yet because I wanted to keep it a surprise. Now, what's very strange is they actually do keep the fog of war out here, just like they did in part one, if you guys remember when we escaped. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay, we're already running into a cave. I'm glad we didn't fall in there. That would have been really bad. That would have not been good. So they do keep uh, the caves out here, but they aren't filled in, as you can see here. So if you, my guess, if you actually jump down here, you'll just keep DCing. So I highly would not recommend that. Uh, you will have to open a blizzard support ticket and it wouldn't be fun. So, all right, we're going to keep making our way out this way. And this is really exciting because uh, it's cool to see the Barons in a uh, its own raid version of itself. Because I don't know other versions of... Uh, the barons in itself so this is really neat other than actually there is outside of um gosh i can't even think of that i can't what is it called uh razor van crawl yes there we go if you go outside of that ob which i've done a video on in the past you can actually see a lot out there uh and there you can see part of the barons and all of that so there is and actually old school thousand needles is out there so if you want to ever see vanilla a uh, thousand needles there you go so we have made our way to the edge of the world uh and if you guys remember the beginning of this raid uh where you get to this part we just took the portal from beating the third boss and uh we were gonna start the event but we skipped it and i what i did is i just jumped off the ship and went into the water and uh so that's why you see a bunch of water over there uh, normally you start this raid uh well the second part of the raid i should say you start out in the water on the ship and you're supposed to talk to Jaina and she takes you to shore and blah, 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 blah. But we're not doing that. We're exploring the out of bounds. So, so far coming out here, there isn't too much. It is really neat to see the Barons out. Unfortunately, because we're in Siege of Ogremar, and this is after Cataclysm, this isn't, you know, vanilla Barons or anything like that. So this is, this is Cataclysm Baron. So it's not going to be different from retail, but it is still really neat to see the, uh, how much they keep out here and how much they don't and what they do for the smoke and mirrors uh what i really do like is that they do keep somewhat of the map but something very uh interesting that does catch my eye is if you actually drink an inky black potion there is a bunch of landmass out in the distance and you can barely just make it out i don't know if you guys can see that or not but out there and the, oh okay we're already what the heck we're taking fatigue damage interesting what is that all about? Fatigue damage. Look at that. We're taking fatigue damage. Oh, because we're in the water, technically. Huh. Interesting. All right. I didn't think we'd be taking fatigue damage. But if you see that out in the distance there, if you can barely make it out, there's a landmass out there. I don't know what that is, and I would love to get out there. I'll have to bring a shaman or something that will allow me to see 
farther out. And there's actually another landmass way out in the distance over here too that you can't actually travel to that I know of. So I don't know if these are just parts of the raid that you go into. They're just leftover scraps of the dungeon. I don't know. I'm curious. If anybody's ever been out to these two landmasses out in the distance, please let me know. I'm, I'm very curious of what's out there. And I'll definitely have to bring another class to see how far I could see. Maybe with Farsight with the Shaman or something like that. But uh, anyway, so let's keep continuing. I just thought that was kind of neat. I'm going to retake out our Inky Black Potion. As you can see, they do keep the river here, some of it. So some of the water is still out here. Now you can swim. So that's good uh because swimming is in here now sometimes in raids and instances and stuff when you get out of bounds you want to avoid water at all costs because what happens is your character some of the raids and dungeons doesn't know how to swim technically so if you try to go swim your character animation won't happen for like the swimming animation and you'll just literally get dc'd and you'll get stuck in an endless dc loop so you got to be careful with water when getting out of bounds a lot of times. Uh, but if you're in maps like this, where you can swim right in the beginning, then uh, you should be fine. You should be able to swim. So let's go head out this way. And as you can see, they do keep a lot of the ravine here. Let's go fly into here and let's go take a look. Now that's really neat. I like that they keep a lot of the textures and stuff out here. Especially with all the models and all that. Here goes the uh, harpy. The harpy ladies, I should say. Their nests. Alright, let's go head out this way. And let's go see how much they keep of the barren desert out here. We do got some rock formations that they still keep. Now, if you guys hear me, by the way. And I sound a little off. I am sick again, unfortunately. I got a runny nose and cough. And had a fever the other night. And... I just got done being sick like a few weeks back if you guys remember I recorded my uh, escape from Stormwind video uh, when I was on playing the horde scenario and I was sick during that video and now I'm sick again so it's okay it is what it is it's just part of life so unfortunately there's nothing I can do to change it but I think I got sick from traveling because uh, I went on vacation for 10 days we just got back last this past Sunday or Saturday, I should say. And uh, we're back home now, but I think I got sick when traveling. So, but anyways, enough pity of me. Let's continue in the Out of Bounds videos. Now, as we walk through here, you do see a bunch of the ravine cavern is still here. Or whatever you want to call this. They do keep a lot. Now, unfortunately, they don't keep all of the barons out here, which I wish they did. It would have been cool to go to the Valley of Trials and all that out in the distance, but... Everything's just smoke and mirrors, remember, so you only get to see what they want you to see. Until we break out of bounds and then we can see what we want to see, so... <clears throat> if that makes sense. Now let's go head back out this way. And let's go take a look. Uh, oh yeah, we fell down here, didn't we? So we actually gotta get back up here, so what we can do... Is we can... Just climb up here. If it's going to let us. There we go. And I think we can get out this way. See, I, the problem is here. I'm not a horde player. So I don't know all the ins and out of the barons and stuff. Like some of you might. There we go. Okay, we got out either way. All right, got to be careful going down there. I didn't think we would have got stuck. Maybe if we go all the way around, it might let us out on the other side. But that's okay. We got out another way and that's fine. Oh, there's just a walkway up here. Okay, so we could have just got out right there. Alright, that's... I mean, that, it is what it is. Alright, as you can tell, let's go back to the edge of the map over here. And I love the stars, but you know what's funny is when you come outside the out-of-bounds of these, you do see the uh, fog of war is the play again, so you can't actually see very far. And because I'm hiding, I'm hiding my HUD here, you can't actually see, but we were taking fatigue damage there. Or we were counting the fatigue again, because we were in the water. Now remember, there's actually a, uh, uh, this is all a body of water here, but because we're out of bounds, they don't load in the water. Only certain places. Now I'm curious to see how much they keep over here. 
on top of these mountains. So let's go take a look. One thing that's really iconic of the Barrens, I feel like, is the mountain scenery. Makes you feel like you're in the desert. So I, it seems like they do keep a large chunk of this back here. There we go. Thank God for Fell Rush, huh? Wow, okay, so do, this does go pretty far back. So let's keep climbing the mountains here and let's go take a look. Our inky black potion is off. Yes, okay. Wanted to make sure. I was going to say it would be a lot darker, right? So I don't know where I was going crazy with that. I don't know why I was thinking our inky black potion was on to begin with. So you can go really high up here. Wow, so they keep a lot back here that you're never supposed to see anyways. I'm really surprised. I hope you guys are all enjoying the series. Um, I just want to say thank you and a shout out to um, to uh, my members and people who have been joining. I thank you. I'm gaining a lot of membership already. And those of you that are curious about the OOB stuff. Uh, yeah, so more OOB membership stuff is going to be coming on later on. I had announced that in the last video. So that's going to be exciting. But yeah, shout out to all my members that have joined so far. You guys are awesome. Uh, I will be posting the escape video before this video. So you'll be able to see how I got out. All right, let's keep going down here and let's go see what else they keep. Now, unfortunately, they don't keep any of the uh, what do you call it here? Gosh, I'm forgetting all my places here. So we do have the Duratar over here. We have Ogremar. So currently we're like right around here, right? So unfortunately, they don't keep uh, any of. OK, so we were going through here. That was the ravine and we were kind of climbing up the mountains here a little bit. But they don't keep any of uh, Ashenvale or anything like that in the surrounding area. So that's kind of disappointing. I wish they would have kept Ashenvale. I just wish they would have kept a little more out here. But I understand, you know, this was Missa Pandaria and computers weren't still that amazing back then. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. <laughs> Didn't want to be sneezing in my microphone as I'm talking here. That would have been awkward. All right, let's keep going up these mountains here and let's go see what we can find. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos of uh, the Siege of Okamar. I know this was a big request too for some people, so glad I was able to fulfill that. And then the next part's actually going to be, you know, I might do a part three and a part four. Uh, I just don't remember doing all of the raid, so I'm sure there's other parts that I could escape. I know the last obviously is going to be after Garrosh and once we defeat him. So we can go explore the ruins of Stormwind and how much they keep of Stormwind and all that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I always get really giddy or excited <laughs> about uh, doing the out of bounds sections for Stormwind and all that. I don't know. I always think that's really fun. All right. Let's keep climbing up these mountains. Now, can we get over here? It looks like we can. Come on. There has to be a way we can get up there, right? Maybe right here. I feel like there's a way that we can oh, oh be out here there we go all right so as you guys can tell what's really interesting is the backside of ogamar going into the city here there is nothing look at the uh, the water and everything's empty going into ashenvale and all that so it's just a lot of smoke and mirrors so what they keep in the back here which i don't know which i thought was really neat and if we mount back up, and as you can tell too, a lot of the trees back here is also smoke and mirrors from Ashavale. So that's really neat to see as well. Now, unfortunately we're falling here, but we don't want to do that. So we're actually, we're going to get back up here because I want to go show you guys what's back here and what kind of the trees look like. Oh, okay. We're just barely making it here. So we're going to wait for our second fell rush charge because we want to get over here and we want to play it safe to make sure if we don't fall or not. There we go. As you guys can tell, there's actually nothing back here for Ashenvale. And uh, all these mountains are just smoke and mirrors. And if you make your way over here behind the hills, there's actually nothing back here either. It's all just giant trees. Sorry, my nose is running here. It's all just giant trees here. And they're just sticking out of the ground and uh, nothing back here. So they do kind of play a little bit of a little smoke and mirror game here with Ashenvale. 
which I don't know. I thought was kind of neat. So let's go check out these trees down here. Let's go take a look down here. Look at that. That's really awesome. There's the moon in the background. That's pretty. I don't think anything else is really kept back here. Which is kind of disappointing, like I said. It would have been neat to see more of Ashenvale in here, but... I'm not the one creating the map, so I can't make that decision. <laughs> Excuse me one moment, guys. There we go. All right. Now, they do keep a little light particle thing going on here. Now, what's really interesting, I'm assuming this is supposed to be a house or a home. Look at the hole in the ground. It just drops to the void. That's creepy, huh? Dropping into the nothingness. And I love the, the light effect that's there. But there's no light or lamp. Oh, there's multiple of them. Look at that. You got one here, one here. Really neat to see. Now, I guess not having an inky black potion on, we kind of are in night anyways, because we're filming this at night, too. It's currently almost 10 o'clock here where I'm living. So we are doing a little later of a video, but that's OK. Let's go see the edge of the world from over here. That's kind of neat. Our mount does kind of glow up. Yeah. I guess our mount's kind of perfect for this because it glows in the dark. So that's really cool. So this is kind of like a dread wasteland out here. Unfortunately, it's kind of sad. I thought they would have kept more in the back here, but I guess now that answers my question of what's back here. Now we do want to get up here because I do want to go explore Ogremar and show you guys what's all back there. So we're going to have to do a little bit of climbing here. Which I think we could do. Shouldn't be too hard. Because that looks like some really awesome paths to fly. By the way, I've been playing the uh, War Within beta. And for Demon Hunters, they've done a great job. Uh, oh, we're not going to make it. That's really sad. Well, that's okay. Well, we're actually not that far down, though. I think we can make that up there. Uh, what I was going to say is they actually gave Vengeful Retreat an extra charge in the Talons. So you are able to climb a lot higher distances than you normally should. So that was really cool to see that they gave some love to Demon Hunters in that way. Oh, we're falling. That's okay. All right, let's go do this. Let's just go right out this way. And we're just going to have to accept our defeat. And we're just going to go in Ogamar the organic way of walking in. Now, what's really funny is that uh, the river is supposed to be here normally, but you can see just fish hanging out in the back here. Little polygram, polygon fish. Look at that, swimming around. And a bird up in the distance, too. <laughs> it's always kind of neat to see the wildlife with nothing. So there you go, you got a little fish pond and no OB of where the river is usually supposed to be. Now, I'm so tempted because I think we can climb up there. I hate when you're in OOBs and like you you should be able to climb. But because everything just looks so deceiving, like, for instance, this mountain right here looks so climbable. But if you go up here, it's like not easy to walk on. Oh, I messed up. I shouldn't have. That's sad. All right, let's try that one more time because I was in a walking animation. So it looked like I did get stuck halfway up. So we should be able to get stuck halfway. There we go. Okay, yeah, so we're actually in. So let's wait for our second foul rush charge. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we're actually making our way up. Not too bad. Well, let's keep going if we can make our way up here. Ah, come on. These are the fun. Oh, we were so close. 
See, that's what I'm saying about being deceiving. It looks like you should be able to stand on this, but unfortunately, the game doesn't let you. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to climb. Uh, I thought we could metamorphose this up. Unfortunately, we couldn't. So we're just going to have to wait for our... Uh, I wasn't flat. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go around. We're just going to accept our defeat again. Get it. We're not going to sit here and waste the whole video trying to me trying to attempt to climb. You guys don't want to see that. You guys want to see the OOB parts. So let's keep making our way out this way. But I'm so sad because I'm so tempted to keep going up these mountains. Because I feel like we can get up them. Because I want to show you guys a really awesome view of what it looks like to see Ogremar from the very top in an OOB. Uh, so if I can make my way up there, that would be great. But unfortunately, I don't think the game's going to comply because of the way the OOB is structured. Oh, there we go. Okay. Maybe you could fly up here. All right, this might work, actually. Let's see if we can jump up here with metamorphosis. Oh, we don't even need to. All right, cool. Never mind, guys. So we actually made our way up. I'm happy about it. All right. I'll take it. Now we just need to make our way up this way. Oh, I totally just failed that. Wow, that was sad. Okay. Well, we just need two foul rush charges so we can get up, but that was really sad. I should have metamorphosed this a little higher and I would have made it. That's a trick you can use when you're OOB in. There we go. This is exactly where we want to be. Gosh, don't fall, Nathan. All right. I would love to get up here. I don't know if we can make that, though, unfortunately. Tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Ah, all my Linkin Park fans. All right, there we go. Well, let's go into Ogremar here. And uh, unfortunately, we're not at the very top, but I think we can make our way up here. Uh, let's go take a look around and show the part of Ogremar. So you guys can tell they do keep the gate and everything back here, as we saw earlier. No water under the bridge, unfortunately. But as you can tell, all of Ogremar is pretty much empty. The only part that's not is way in the beginning of where you actually go in from the raid. So it's complete dread waste out here, which is really kind of creepy. So if you ever wanted to see an empty Ogremar, this is your chance. Now, if you come back this way, you are able to see another side of the empty Ogremar. But as I said earlier, they do keep a lot of the beginning. If you make your way out this way, you can see that all of this is here because you actually fight one of the bosses right up here. So this is the entrance over here and you can see the Alliance ship in the distance as well. Now, unfortunately, the boss doesn't spawn until you beat the other bosses. But we can't make our way out this way. And we do want to be careful because I don't want to clip back into bounds here. Uh, since we're already out of bounds. So let's go take a, a look at the rest of Pokemon. Now, I'm really curious if they keep uh, Rage Fi the uh, Rage Fire Chasm down below. Let's take a look here. Where is, you know, I'm not super familiar with the horde stuff. So Rage Fire Chasm's right in the middle below the drag. I'm curious if they keep the entrance to that. You know, let's just go jump down there and take a look. Here goes the entrance right over there, actually. Oh, we discovered the drag. Ha! <laughs> it's funny. Look at, they block that off normally, so you normally can't come down here. Ooh, cool. Okay, so you can't interact with the mailbox, but here's the Rage Fire Chasm entrance right over here. Oh, it is open. Okay, awesome. Look at that. Is all of Rage Fire Chasm actually here? No way. There's no way. It actually acts like we're in Rage Fire Chasm too. What? No, there's no way. I'm going to be really shocked. Oh, 
What the heck? Oh no, I forgot. Okay, I'm being an idiot. This is part of the raid. <laughs> I forgot. You go into Rage Fire Chasm to get to the next boss, right? Because General Nazgrim is actually a boss in here. Yep, there he is. Okay, I'm being an idiot. But it is cool to see that we got down here early with no boss there. But it... This is the Rage Fire Chasm entrance, right? Like, I'm not being crazy here. Or maybe I'm being crazy here. Or did they just use the same entrance for the Siege of Ogamar? I don't remember. I haven't played this raid in forever, to be honest with you guys. Because that is the Rage Fire Chasm entrance, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is just part of the raid in general. See, I haven't done this raid in a long time, so... Well, that was kind of sad. Little innocent parts of me right here. I just <laughs> totally forgot. I was excited because I was thinking maybe we were seeing Rage Firegasm in Siege of Ogremar, but that's just part of the raid. Well, unfortunately, now we need to find a way out of here because we jumped down into the raid again. So, can we get back out is the real question. And that, I don't know. Because I didn't even show you guys the other side of Ajara. Um, which I don't think there's much over there anyways, but it would have been neat to see. How much do they actually block off here? Let's go take a look. Oh, this is all big gated. Yeah, we're, I think we're unfortunately, I think we're stuck down here. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that uh, we're a little stuck here. So, I mean, honestly, guys, there's really not much um, on the uh, Ajara side uh, of the map over without that way. So I'll just be real with you guys. Uh, so we can actually just end the video here. I mean, we're... You guys pretty much saw all of the barons and what they offer. It's not too much out there, but it is kind of neat to look at. So, anyways, guys, I jumped down here thinking we could go into Rage Fire Chasm. I was wrong, because that's just part of the map. I forgot Rage Fire Chasm turns into the next entrance of where you're supposed to go. So, anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. I will catch you on part three of the Siege of Ogremar. I don't know where it's going to be yet or what we're going to be doing. I'm assuming maybe when we get down below i'll try to break out there if not we'll just have to save part three for the take uh when we actually teleport to stormwind with garrosh and we kill him and then we'll just go back there and explore the ruins of stormwind that will be part three but let me go find out sorry guys i i totally forgot about this raid i haven't done this raid in forever but i've been always wanted to oob it so this is the time to do it but as you guys can see there's not too much out there but it's kind of neat to still look at but anyways guys thank you for all your support on the channel i appreciate every single one of you you guys are awesome uh we do got some fun events coming up like the transmog contest giveaway we got the hearthstone tournament coming up we got uh a lot of other fun things so i'm not going to spoil them but i do got some other things planned for the summer and i'm excited to do it so anyways guys my name is nathan i'll catch you on the next video take care